video is going to walk you through how to complete and submit an assigned assessment as a student on Crowdmark. So when your instructor has distributed an assigned assessment, you'll receive an email from Crowdmark uh, with a link to the assessment. And you can either go into your email and click into Crowdmark from the email, or you can log directly into Crowdmark to view the assessment. So you'll only see a course in your Crowdmark um, uh, page, in your Crowdmark account, once the first assessment has been distributed, if it's an assigned assessment, or if it is an administered paper-based assessment, it would be when the grades are returned. So if you don't see a course there when you log in, that will, be, uh, that will probably be why, and we recommend that you reach out to your instructor about that. So you'll see here on the right-hand side your upcoming due dates, um, and you can also click into the course to complete the assessment. So we'll click into course B here. You'll see uh, any tests, though those are the paper-based assessments when the results are available at the top here. And then you'll see assessments down the bottom. So to complete the assessment, you're going to click into the title of the assessment. If it's a timed assessment, you'll have some instructions as to how long you have to complete the timed assessment. And if now doesn't work for you, then you can come back and start it again later. The clock, the countdown clock will start as soon as you select start the assessment. You'll see any description of the assessment included at the top. Um, you'll also see here a link to a help document that walks you through how to submit um, work to each type of question. You see here that you've got your countdown timer, which you can hide at any stage um, and show again. So you'll read the questions and complete the work. There are three different types of questions on Crowdmark. This one here is an image or PDF type question. So what you would do is either create a PDF and upload it, or you would hand write out your answer, take a photo of it and upload it to Crowdmark. So Crowdmark accepts JPEGs or PNG files. So I'm just going to choose a file here to upload. Uh, you can preview the file by selecting that plus button here. If you need to rotate the image, you can do that here as well. And you can attach multiple files and you can delete files as well by selecting that X. You can rearrange them by dragging and dropping. Here is a text entry question. So you can type freeform your answer here. You can also format it. So there are some formatting tips here. Uh, if you want to use bold, italics, include a link or an image. Here are the instructions for how to do that. So if you wanted to bold a section of your text, you would include uh, two stars. And then you can preview what that looks like. You can also use uh, LaTeX expressions in here as well, and you can attach additional files here. So if you need to include a spreadsheet of your working, um, you can include that there. That will be a downloadable link for instructors. And then you have a multiple choice question here. So you'll select the correct answer. You'll see that that is automatically saving as you're going through. And when you're ready, you can select submit for evaluation. You will need to press this button to make your um, answers accessible for the team for grading. Um, you do have time left on the clock, so you can edit and resubmit as many times as you like, so long as you have time on the countdown at the bottom there. If you did want to edit and resubmit, you select edit and resubmit here. You would make any changes you wanted. Um, so if you wanted to add extra files, you could do that. Um, and then you can remove files. Any changes are possible as long as you've got that time there. And then you would select to resubmit for evaluation.